Let's take a helicopter view of what you've been dealing with in the last 10 years. This is a picture of your life from 2000 to 2010. If we take a look at the price of the raw material, wide flange and plate and um, different shapes, the material cost has gone on this amazing wild ride and kind of settled somewhere around about, I'm guessing somewhere around about $1,000 per tonne, depending on the profile that you're processing. If we make an assumption that you were a 10 shop floor employee company and you were consistently at 10 employees for the last 10 years, sure that we're going to ignore the crewing up and crewing down, but if you were 10 shop floor employees, your wage bill should have been a constant for the last 10 years. But in reality what's going on is that your wages are going on and increasing indefinitely because there are wage increases, superannuation and all sorts of other soft factors that are driving this up. Cost of living, foreign exchange, all sorts of things that are driving your wage bill up. And on the other side, if we look at this picture, the selling price of your structural steel in the marketplace is declining, it's become a commodity. So here we have the selling price, here are your wages, and here are your raw material. Well as we know we cannot purchase our raw material any cheaper than we're getting it today. This is a commodity, it's, an, uh, it's traded on the open market, you're locked into what's available to you. So you can't buy your steel any cheaper. You can't control these things that are driving up your wages. You can't pay your employees less, otherwise they leave you and they go to, you, they go to your competitor. So your wages are outside of your control. And in the old, in the old days you, you could have a relationship with a general contractor and you could have some control of the selling price, but generally now this is a commodity, it's traded in the open market. And so what this means is that year upon year, your margins are coming under pressure. You cannot control the price of your steel, you cannot control your wages, and you cannot control your selling price. But the one thing that you can do is you can make an investment in a good CNC product, something that takes labor out, and you can drive a big chunk of your labor out, and for a period your margins return again. And then you'll make a second or a third purchase and the whole idea is to stay ahead of this game. But let me show you that this, this is true not just of structural steel but of all industries.